Oh, friggin' rights, people. We're done. It's friggin' midnight. There's no reason for us to be here. I think from 4 until lunch at 8, I did two calls, and it was both the same person. And um, from 8.45 until closing, I didn't get a single call. My phone actually fell asleep. Speaking of which, I have my cell phone on me. Yes, I do. Anyway, I gotta get home. I got a dog that probably has to shit. Oh, friggin' rights. Kick the camera into manual mode. Probably saying, I don't want to shoot this part with the son of a bitch glasses. Because I can't, they're sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Just wrecking my car, trying to get out of the fucking parking lot because totally half job season. Not just in Inwoods, people, it's all over. They plow the driveway, but they only do the center strip. So, basically, I'm gonna give myself some heat there for a second. So, uh, I came up with an idea for a schedule that isn't as stupid as the one we have now. Um, fuck, do I have a headlight out? Let me just go check that real quick. Oh, headlight's fine. <laughs> just caked with snow, but, uh, Right now, the current schedule, like I showed you, um, there is a Monday to Friday, or oh, three Monday to Fridays, two for day shifts, one for nights, a Saturday, like there's somebody who works Saturday and Sunday, two people for days, two people for nights, which is completely not required. Uh, one crew on the weekend gets Tuesday, Wednesdays off, the other crew gets Saturday, uh, Friday, Thursday, Fridays off, sorry, I'm part of the Thursday, Friday crew. Now, something everybody wants, is weekends off or part of the weekend off you know and a while back we suggested a schedule and it got shot down but seeing how Bell's so eager to make cutbacks like on services and stuff maybe they'd be up, uh, they'd be up for making cutbacks on times the help desk is open you know there's no reason to be open holy fuck there bud don't give me any room or anything. Don't fucking do it. Don't even clean off the back of your van there, bud. Totally legal to do that. Hope you don't get pinched. Fucking guy's so dense, he's 10-ply. But, um, yeah, uh, what I was thinking was, you know, you have your Monday to, the three Monday to Fridays, so you have your daytime guy, your nighttime guy, and your other daytime guy, and then you have, instead, Instead of going, um, come on, hook car. Oh, you slut. There we go. But instead of having uh, the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday crew, what we do is one crew works from Tuesday to Saturday, getting Sunday, Monday off, and the other two people work from, no, not from Jesus, no, work Sunday to Thursday, getting Friday, Saturday off. So what you can do from there is you get a part of the weekend off. That's awesome. And there's two people doing it. But you probably just realized, but Adam, you only have two people working now. Two people can't work a 16-hour shift. No doubt. What we need to do is tell them the weekend Anytime before noon, you only get calls if something broke overnight. Like if the, the network is down, we're gonna get flooded with calls before we even come into the office. If everything's okay in the network area, then everything's gonna be okay. End of story. You're gonna come in and you're gonna sleep from 8 a.m. till about 11, 30, 12. You might get a call or four, maybe. Doubtful, but maybe. So the real question is, is, is it feasible to have us there pay four guys to do the work of two to do that job? Now, a lot of the union, pro-union guys would probably be on my ass right now saying, shut the fuck up, because uh, if you start taking away, then they're going to take away more. My problem is, is I'm trying to think of a schedule that works, and I don't give a fuck how bad they screw up the help desk, because I already know I'm on my way out. That's inevitable. I'm gone as soon as they tell me I'm gone. But once they do give me the boot out, that's when they're gonna do something else, which is gonna be pretty awesome. See, when they give me the me and uh, the other coworker, because there's only two of us left that are set to be uh, terminated, once they give us the boot, oh, we're slipping, I could totally see them decide to uh, say, screw it, 
Monday to Friday, the remaining five people, that's all you're gonna work from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., one hour unpaid lunch. This is what they did in NTL territory up in uh, the Timmins. This is what they did there. They just basically ran the Monday to Friday and after hours, after 5 p.m., if you call in for service at NTL, you get forwarded off to Teleback. Well, they'll probably do the same thing with us. On evenings and weekends, Teleback. Monday to Fridays, 9 to 5, on Terra. Is it gonna be awesome customer service? Probably not after hours. It's probably gonna be a bad time. I can see a lot of people getting fed up with it and running away thinking, you guys were better when you were before Bell. And it's like, yeah, we told you that. Remember you guys used to yell at us saying our service sucked? <laughs> so, pretty dickered situations, but um, I'm gonna run the schedule by my boss, Frigate, and see what he thinks. And be like, listen, like, I'm not gonna come across as like, you know, your full full on ten ply here, bud. Like, I'm just basically gonna tell him, hey, dude, you know what? If you did the schedule like this, you'd look like a hero in management's eyes because now you're saving uh, 16 hours worth of pay every day on Saturday and Sunday. Now you're saving money for the company on the weekend because we do not have the manpower to run this operation. With my schedule, no matter who goes on vacation when. There's always somebody there. There's always gonna be two people in the help desk on days or nights. Right now, the way it stands, when I go on vacation in uh, in May, oh man, there's gonna be like Monday, there'll be two people. Tuesday, Wednesday, there'll be two people. Thursday, Friday, one person. Saturday, one person. Sunday, one person. Doesn't work. There is a way to schedule things, but I just, I, I don't understand. I guess you gotta have a special mentality to be a manager of operations, or a manager in, of any operation, you know? Like, you gotta not be able to see the obvious. You gotta not be able to troubleshoot because this stuff is so easy for me. Like, I'm seeing all the numbers in my head and maybe it's my systems analyst past, I don't know. But it's just like, the logic is there. It makes complete sense. So what, why can't we? Why, why can't we just do? So I'm gonna run it by them, probably get shot down, and then like a month later, we'll see uh, an email saying, we're gonna go with this schedule that I just magically came up with, and it'll be my schedule. Like, he'll take the full fame and glory for it. Which, honestly, I could care less if he does, because sure beats social, uh, social engineering the guy to get what I want. You know, bad enough I do that to my boss all the time or our team lead all the time. I just social engineer the shit out of him because it's fun. Not because that guy is 10 ply for fuck's sakes. Anyway, people, we're almost home, so I'll talk to you when I get there. All right, peace out. All righty, guys, well, I've been home for a little bit. I've uh, just been chatting on Skype and on Facebook and petting the fluffy kitten because she's so cute. Ooh, she's so, 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 so done. And her spot on her neck is really soft. <laughs> the new fur is coming in. It's so soft right there. It's so soft. <laughs> She's like, stop it. <laughs> She's not used to, oh, you're attacking me. You're, you're in a playful mood, aren't you? You want to play? Rawr. 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 Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> So the scapers goes into a sneeze fit. Um, there's a, I took a picture tonight at work. I went to the corner store to get something to eat, like a snack or something, and uh, they had this 99 cent pizza slice, and I was like, well, for a buck, I'll give her a go. It's probably gonna taste like jank, but whatever. We'll freaking give her a go and see what happens, right? Anywho, I just let stupid out for a shit. But uh, I posted this picture of this 99 cent pizza from the corner store. It's literally a slice of pizza that's vacuum sealed in plastic sitting on a cardboard wrapper. Put it in the microwave for 60 seconds and you got yourself a steaming slice of pizza. Looks way better in the picture than it does in real life. And I posted a picture of it cooked and the comments on the picture were hilarious. Like I got asked, my, asked like 72 times, what's the matter for yourself? 
some people like my friend is a big time pizza connoisseur and she's like even I don't approve of this pizza like this is wrong and then there was the comment that made me think hmm this could work was you should do a video or a video series on YouTube of you eating disgusting things from the gas station like the 99 cent pizza or the two dollar submarine sandwich or the friggin uh, <laughs> moose friggin pepperettes so the moose meat pepperettes any eh? the kind that give you the fucking seven year shits so I thought that was a pretty awesome idea to be honest with you I was thinking I'm like holy shit like really the do a cooking show because like a lot there's a lot of people well, not really a cooking show like an eating show but there's a lot of people who do that already like uh, friggin' Not Slim One and his Why Would You Do That videos, and lately they've just been eating videos. Uh, but, you know, something like that, that, that it's been done, and then there's that, uh, oh, he shouted somebody out, somebody eats, uh, I can't remember, that Rob Eats, maybe? Yeah, I think it's Rob Eats, but I could be wrong on that. And that guy eats like crazy shit, like he eats pig's blood and all sorts of nonsense like that. And actually, uh... Not someone gives him a little bit of a shout out, but not really required because the guy is way more famous than both of us combined. Eat your food, Tina. Oh, wait, you're Oreo. So, um, I was thinking about it doing like the gas station reviews, you know, different products I get from a gas station that are edible that I eat and go, my goodness, what the hell was I thinking? And I'll describe it. I can even put it up on the green screen and make it look all friggin' awesome, probably. That'd be probably kind of fun to watch. I don't know. So I thought about that, and uh, maybe I might do a series on it. I'll, I'll roll a couple, see how they add it up, see if they're funny and if I like it, and maybe I'll pitch them as pilots, and if you guys like it, maybe I'll carry on with the series and do a couple episodes here and there, you know, to break up the mahogany of the, uh, of the friggin' just the vlog every day and a comedy on comments every sometimes often, you know. Might, might help out, might help out with breaking up the mahogany. But, um... Anyway, people, that's totally not the right word to use there, mahogany. I'm talking about a wood type here, and I'm just dicking over, and it happens, so just let it go. think I'm going to call her a night. I forgot it's Saturday night. I thought it was freaking Monday. No, I thought it was Wednesday. I don't know what day it's supposed to be today. I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. We just rolled into Sunday, so... Yeah, I'm telling you. This, having my weekends on Thursdays and Fridays... It's going to take a little bit for my body to adapt to the new calendar and uh, realize what day is what. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, people. So I'm going to shut her down here and call her quits. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, click that like button. Let's me know you like the video and I like that kind. Any questions, comments, concerns, stove them in the comment section below because they could be used on the cock show. Yeah. It's kind of a neat song. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.